Learn English through stories. Lesson 11. How to learn 3,000 words. During the next lesson, one of the students asks our teacher this question. You told us that it is good to know 3,000 words. Where can I find these 3,000 words which are the most important for me to learn? My teacher replies. You can Google a list of the 3,000 most frequent words in English. But such a list will not help you much. When you start to learn words from this list, you will learn words outside the context. You will learn the words which are not connected with any story. You will not learn what other words are connected with these words in sentences. You will learn these words in your short-term memory. This system works only for some words. These are basic words which describe things and people around us. For example, mother, father, apple, blue, orange, dog, cat, book, car, house, city, boy, girl, water, cinema, or paper. These are words which represent something which you can imagine easily. For example, when you learn the word dog, you know immediately what it is. You have a clear idea in your head what the word means. But when you want to learn words such as appreciate or suppose, this system doesn't work well. This is a problem many students experience. They start their studying by using lists of words. It works at the beginning and they believe that they can learn English this way. They don't know that when they achieve the level of 1,000 words, they have to start using a different system. If you want to learn words from a higher level, you have to learn them from whole sentences. If you understand the meaning of a word in the context of a sentence, you will learn the word much better. You can learn words from lists, but there is usually a limit where you can go with this way of learning, and it is 1,000 words. Also, this way of learning is very slow. There are much better ways which we have already spoken about such as reading. For beginners, the best book to read is Robinson Crusoe in Simple English. You can find this book at www.dailylanguagespractice.com. It is the best book I know of for learning new words for beginners. There is also one interesting rule which applies here. Every word which is important for you will come back to your life again and again until you learn the word. This is very similar to the way which we learn your own language. When we are children, we don't study from lists of words. We just use the language and important words keep coming into our lives again and again until one day we know what the words mean. We keep learning new words this way all our lives. For example, the verb gugwa is a new word in many languages. We learned this word by using the language. We didn't learn this word from any list of words. When you heard the word Google for the first time, you probably didn't know what the word meant. Then you heard it again and again as the word was important for you, and after some time, you understood the word. You can forget about lists of words. Learn new words by reading stories and other interesting texts. When you use English a lot every day, soon you will know 3,000 words. Does it make sense? Yes, says the student. Thank you. After school, I go to my work. I already know my work very well. Things start to be automatic. I am happy that I understand my customers. It is not very difficult because the conversations are usually very similar. Our customers want some coffee or sandwiches. So the words are usually the same or very similar. My confidence goes higher and sometimes I start to have longer conversations with our customers. Everything is good, but then something happens. It is a little bit shocking for me.